Color theory is a science and art of using color. It explains how humans perceive color and the visual effects of how colors mix, match, or contrast with each other. Color theory also includes the messages colors communicate and how we can replicate color. And I know you might be thinking, why should I know about the color theory? Well, let me tell you something. Selecting the right colors is crucial to have a successful design while it's also very important to know the science behind selecting these colors in order to be able to convince your client with your selected colors and your own visuals. So starting first with color wheel basics. The first color wheel was designed by Sir Isaac Newton in 1666 and I know he's so famous for his amazing work in physics. However, he also designed the first color wheel. Then the color wheel has been developing since then. And what's really important about that color wheel is that artists and designers still use it to develop their color harmonies, mixing and palettes. And the color wheel consists of three primary colors, red, yellow and blue. Then we have three secondary colors, simply colors created by mixing those primary colors. And these colors are green, orange and purple. Then we have six tertiary colors which are colors made from primary and secondary colors such as blue green or maybe red violet and what's really interesting about that color wheel is that when you draw a line through the center of that wheel you'll separate the warm colors reds oranges and yellows from cool colors blues greens and purples warm colors for example are generally associated with energy brightness and action while cool colors are often identified with calm, peace, and serenity. So for example here when you recognize that color has a temperature, you can easily understand and decide when to choose warm or cool colors for your brand, for instance. Also when you know there are colors meanings or psychology, it will make a huge impact on your design. So for example red color will be resembling love, blood, fire, energy, strong or intense while purple will be resembling power, wealth, ambition, noble, reality. Blue will be always sea, trust, sky, stability. While green will be always freshness, nature, money, growth, safety. Yellow will be energy, sunshine, pride, cheerful, and joy. And orange will be resembling warm, happiness, success, and creativity. Also keep in mind that sometimes colors will have a different meaning from culture to another. Also when it comes to color properties, we can find that we have hue, shade, tint, and tone. And you'll find these properties a lot when you're designing in different design applications. So let's go quickly and see what they are. Starting first with hues, they are colors. So whenever you hear hues, they are colors. And tints, tones, and shades are variations of hues or colors. So a tint is a hue or a color to which white has been added. For example, red plus white equals pink, while a shade is a hue to which black has been added. Finally, a tone is a color to which black and white or even gray have been added. This darkens the original hue while making the color appear more subtle and less intense. The color wheel is an excellent tool for creating different color schemes or different color relationships and there are many of them. So for example, we do have complementary colors and those are opposites on the color wheel, red and green for example, and you'll be getting a sharp contrast from facing colors on the color wheel, which can make your design stand out. Then we do have analogous colors, which are colors next to each other on the color wheel, for example red, orange, and yellow. When creating such a color scheme, one color will dominate, one will support, and another will accent. Then we do have triadic colors, which are evenly spaced around the color wheel and tend to be very bright and dynamic as well. Using a triadic color scheme in your design creates visual contrast and harmony simultaneously, making each item stand out while making the overall image pop. Now you get the idea guys, there is also square color scheme, tetradic and so on and so forth. Also let's talk about RGB and CMYK color modes because it's very important topic for all designers. So starting first with RGB or red, green and blue and its additive color mixing model. It's used mainly in different screen types to create colors by adding those colors RGB. 
So for example, mixing all three colors will be generating white and you will always use that mode when you're designing for screens, maybe like a social media campaign or so. Then we do have the CMYK or subtractive color mixing model and CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow and black and it's mainly used in printing where printers will be mixing these four colors to get different hues and colors and when you are working on a design that you're going to print maybe brochure, poster or something like that you will always select CMYK 